apparently the boy in the picture is uh, known as Livingstone Sunwa and she was a student at St. Matthias Stonzo High School in Watsomba and is a 19 year old boy and together with her sister Pride were both students at that school and Livingstone is, was for, doing Form 4 at that school and the sister was also doing four, Form 3 and both were boarders, boarders at that school. So on the 5th of December, it is known that uh, uh, when the students were writing their final exams, students uh, robbed a tuck shop and then they steal some pies and some biscuits and the headmaster of that school, Mr. Sambona, called the uh, police to come and investigate and it is being known that Constable Mandishiza of Mutasa and Constable Zawashe were the one who went to that school and did them some investigations and they found out that there were some footprints which showed that uh, which led to Livingstone being accused as the one who have broke that tuck shop. But pride but the daughter, the sister to this boy said that there were a lot of sh footprints which were found but only Livingstone was the one who was accused and was beaten by the uh, police in front of the school and was taken to the police station where Livingstone was arrested. Um, when Livingstone was arrested, the sister informed her mom that what had happened and the mother contacted the headmaster, Mr. Sambona, at the school to inquire about this. And the mother uh, inquired that if she can just pay whatever the things that were stolen so that the charges can be dropped. Then the headmaster said that at first did not reply to the message, but then she said that uh, the boy has been released and is back at the school. So later, when the mother called the daughter to ask if the boy was now back at school, the daughter said, no, Livingstone is not here, He's still at the police station. But the headmaster is saying the boy has been released, which led the mother to come back to Zimbabwe. Apparently, the mother is working in South Africa, and she's a single mom, and the father of these children already passed away. So she's trying to make a living by working in South Africa and sending the money to take care of his children. So the mother came back, come to the school to inquire, and then they went to the police. So according to the mother, the way they were doing the investigations were kind of dodgy like. So she couldn't understand what was really happening. And they had, the headmaster didn't want other teachers to be involved with this issue. The mother spent some days at the school, and later the mother was told that she should just go back home, and the child probably is hiding somewhere nearer to where the school was, and when the school closed, the son will come back home. So when the school closed, still Livingstone did not turn up. Only the sister went home, and the mother ended up going back to work in South Africa and tried to contact the headmaster, but nothing was done in vain to lead to the information to where Livingstone was, which led the mother now, she was so helpless, and she didn't know what to do. So apparently this boy disappeared like... December. So up to now, the boy has not turned up and we don't even know where she is. Some people were spreading false rumors that probably the boy is in South Africa, but the mother said no, the son is not here and she never arrived. The son never arrived there. So the mother decided to come on media and ask for help and send some pictures so that people can try to find out. That's when people ended up inquiring what really happened. That's when people know about this story. So some of the social Zimbabwean socialites decided to travel to uh, to the school where Livingstone was. And they, when they arrived at the school, they did talk to the headmaster, Mr. Sambona, and inquire about this information. But still, it leads to a dead end because they couldn't get much information of where this boy was. But this being said that at the school, the boy's blanket also disappeared, but this boy's cell phone is still at the school, which now make people to query now where really is this boy. If the blankets are 
the blanket is missing, the cell phone, which is the most important thing for anyone who is going somewhere, is to go with your cell phone. The cell phone is still there at school. So these socialites uh, who went to Watsomba High uh, at Tonzo High School to inquire, they went to the police to inquire about this and still they couldn't get much information. They were told that the case has been closed. The boy has been said he has fled to South Africa. So up to now, it's still a dead end to where Livingstone is. So if there are anyone who could see this boys and have any information which can lead to this boy to be found, please contact plus 27641938808. It is important for this mother to find his son. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe.